Hi friends, uh, today I have two new inks to show you. Excuse my voice, I'm a little sick. I thought I was better. <coughs> but anyway, um, this week um, I saw two separate emails from Birmingham Pen Company uh, where I think I saw first uh, the Molten Magma ink and then there was a second email for Robin Seg a few days later. Uh, and if you don't, remember or I don't know if I've expressed how obsessed I am with these labels and these huge bottles of ink so of course they had to go in my cart immediately um, again because of the two separate emails I didn't know that they were a bundle but then I saw them again as a bundle and it was called the collector's ink bundle but anyway uh, on the website there are they are listed separately uh, and they are uh, described as standalone inks but you can also get the bundle if you want so we can expect this to be like a robin's egg blue and this is going to be a super bright red um, i was just reading on the website and it said that you can mix the inks if you want so that's something i haven't tried yet uh, so hopefully i will make some time to explore with the inks a little bit more and i love that you get so much ink so you're really not going to waste any um and using up ink is fun too if you just let it sit there it may, may go bad eventually um so just use your ink uh, but let's look really quickly at the or and closely at the drawing of molten magma so those are little like pens sticking out of the the lava it's just so beautiful it's so fun and here is robin's egg it's the same frame, but it's just the image of a, what I'm assuming is a robin uh, with their, with its eggs. So here they are again together. You can see the frame is similar. It just changes in color a little bit. So here you, in the corners, you see uh, what I'm assuming are fountain pens. It could be like a, a writing pen with a nib. Um, but here it changed colors and here just to make it stand out from the background, it changed color again. Uh, the thing that changes is like these icons, these circles in the banner, as well as the name and the banner just to change it to the, the ink name and then the drawing. So yeah, super cool. Here's another one from last time. It's on my desk because I'm just, they're so good. I love them. They're so fun. Um, and now I guess I'm collecting them, so, which is, I'm, you know, I'm not mad at that. I love them. Um, they make me happy. So, okay. I make my little swatch page. Um, I'm hoping this is like just a simple, quick video. <clears throat> I'm using my um, brass kakimori nib because I want to put down a lot of ink. And then my yellow kakimori nib holder. Uh, and this should be clean, but yeah, it is clean. So this is Robin's egg. If any of you have um, Birmingham Pen Company, have you tried mixing the ink? They, there was that one. There's two of those um, really sheening inks. One of them I have is Interstellar Bronze. I wonder what that will do with another ink. Could be scary. <laughs> oh, what was, okay. I was trying to remember the phrase that I write. Oh, uh, mm. What I'm writing is amazingly few discotheques provide jukeboxes. I'm gonna writing a, a I'm gonna write it one more time just to fill it up. Fill up the space. I'm not even writing all the letters. I'm so lazy. I'm just giving you a hint of the word. <laughs> uh
As long as you see some scribbling, that's all that matters. Okay, let's clean our little nib and let's swatch the other color. These are so fun. Oh, and by the way, if you're in, on Instagram, um, go follow, I think her name is Gold Sheepish on Instagram. She just gifted me this awesome mug. She reached out to me saying, um, hey, I saw this and I thought of you. Can I send it to you? Can I send something to you? I don't know what she was going to send, but uh, this is what she sent. It says, one cannot have too much yellow. And you already know that's correct. So go follow Gold Sheepish. I'll put the name here because I, I may not be saying it correctly. So that is Robin's egg. Here I am thinking it was gonna be a really short video, like two minutes, but I'm taking forever. That's a cool blue. It's pretty neat. And I pulled out my other, um, some of my other swatches that I've done with like the Birmingham Pen Company um, colors. And the other one that I remember was Fighting Fish. Uh, so I was trying to compare and it is a, a different blue. It's more of a teal-ish color. It's definitely a little bit more blue in person. I love what's happening. It almost looks like it's glowing. You see that little like yeah, it's so fun. So, okay. Um, the other color that we are going to do is Molten Magma. So, let's get to it. Excuse me. And this is as clean as possible. I'm just going to take a little bit off, so. Oh, nice, that it's so bright. That's so cool. That's so cool. All right, let's try it a little bit. There we go, friends. Let me clean this little nib a little bit. So there you have it, friends. Um, these are my two newest colors from Birmingham Pen Company. Uh, I am curious as to like who designs these labels for them because they are just so awesome. Um, they're so cool. And I'm trying to think if there was another, let me look here in my notebook, if I had swatched another, no, the other ones I remember were these Rusted Rivet and Lunar Dust, and those are not similar to that, and any other red which that I have was this Butcher's Broom, but that's also not... It's tricky because the camera is kind of like taking a little bit of the color off, but this also this also has been this has been dry for quite some time now. Um, but this is way much brighter and a little bit more orangey than this red. Um, but yeah, friends, just two more Birmingham Pen Company inks for my collection, and this is supposed to leave the collector's ink bundle so that's all for today uh thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it bye bye